the top 10 most poisonous animals in the world. Many animals are built with different defensive mechanisms for survival. Some are built with horns, teeth, while others are made up of toxic components, which at a single touch can leave you dead. They naturally produce toxic venoms and poisons as a means of adaption into the environment. From terrestrial to aquatic jellyfish to snakes, poisonous animals come in different shapes, colors, odors, and sizes. So let's get onto the list of the top 10 most poisonous animals on Earth. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. Number 10 is the Asian tiger snake. Scientifically known as the Rhabdophis tigrinus, the tiger snake is the venomous snake species in the family Colubridae. This species is native to East Asia and Southeast Asia. The dorsal color pattern of the tiger snake is olive drab green, white and bright orange crossbars from the neck down the first third of the body. When challenged at cooler temperatures, the tiger snake tends to show passive anti-predator responses such as flattening its back and staying still. At high temperatures, the snake flees instead. This snake species has double nuchal glands at its neck, which secrete steroid irritants from consuming poisonous toads as a predation defense. Though tagged poisonous, few deaths have been recorded. Nine is the hooded pitohu. Coming up into the sky, we've got the hooded pitohu, taking number nine. Ever wonder why a bird would be tagged poisonous? The hooded pitohu is indeed a species to satisfy your curiosity. It's a species of bird in the genus pitohu, which is found in New Guinea. It was mistaken for a whistler, but is now known to be a member of the Old World Oriole family. Like the poison dart frog, which also takes a spot in the countdown, the hooded pitohu obtains its poison from the food it consumes, feeding mainly on poisonous coracine beetles. The hooded pitohu was declared the most toxic bird by the Guinness Book of World Records. The bird also takes a spot in the most poisonous animals on Earth. The hooded pitohu is a brightly colored omnivore bird. It's got a red brick belly and a jet black head. Number eight is the hawksbill sea turtle. Hawksbills are a critically endangered sea turtle that belongs to the family Kelonata. Its appearance is similar to other marine turtles, having a flattened body type, a protective carapace, and flipper-like limbs. The turtle has adapted for swimming in the open ocean. The hawksbill is easily differentiated from other sea turtles by its curving, sharp beak with prominent tomium, and also its sea-like appearance on its margins. Amazingly, its shell slightly changes color, all depending on the water temperature. Enough of the facts. Let's know what makes this part of the world's most poisonous animals. Hawksbill's poison comes from its diet. It depends solely on sponges and small animals, which contain a high level of toxins. Amazingly, its body fat absorbs the toxins without hurting the turtle. However, when humans consume them, they seem to be more dangerous. 7. Cane Toad Also known as the giant neotropical toad, or even a marine toad, the cane toad is a substantial terrestrial toad native to South and mainland Central America. Currently, it's been introduced to many islands across Oceania and the Caribbean, North Australia included. The cane toad now stands as the world's most enormous toad and takes the number seven spot on our list. The cane toad has poison glands known as parotid glands that swell on each shoulder where poison is ejected when threatened. Its tadpoles are highly toxic to many animals if eaten. Its poisonous skin can kill many animals, both wild and domesticated, and they're most dangerous to dogs. All stages of its life cycle are toxic. For example, eggs, tadpoles, toadlets, and adult toads. Due to its unquenchable appetite, the cane toad has been introduced to most regions in the Pacific and Caribbean islands as a mean of agricultural pest control. Number six is the poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is a common name given to a group of frogs in the family Dendrobatidae. The frogs are mainly found in tropical Central and South America. They often have brightly colored bodies, which makes them more attractive. But mind you, behind every beauty lies a dark side. Their bright coloration correlates with the toxicity of the species, making them conspicuous. Scientists currently aren't quite sure about the source of the poison dart frog's toxicity. Still, they may assimilate plant poisons that are taken by their prey. A single golden poison frog harbors enough poison to instantly kill 10 grown men. They're one of the many species of poisonous frogs, and South American tribes use some species to cover the tips of arrows and darts. We're currently halfway down the countdown. Guess you're surprised at not seeing another snake on the list. It seems like other species are higher. Avoiding unnecessary pleasantries, let's get back to work. Number five is the Spanish fly. 
The Spanish fly is an emerald green beetle in the blister beetle family. People use it in preparations offered by traditional apothecaries, usually called cantharides or Spanish fly. The Spanish fly is the primary source of the terpenoid cantharidin. It is a blistering toxic agent once used as an aphrodisiac. Its defensive toxins, cantharidin, for which the beetle is known, is produced only by the males. The females collect it from the males during mating because their spermatophore contains some. Its toxins cause terrible blistering and burning pain when absorbed. When the beetle is eaten, the cantharidin causes ulcers, blistering, and bleeding all around the digestive tract, and this may eventually lead to death. Number four is comb stars, or sand-sifting starfish. It's a sea star belonging to the family Astropectinidia. It's the most expansive spread species of its kind and the fourth most poisonous animal globally. The top of this creature is a dark purplish color, while its underside is orange. They're primarily found in the shallow tropical and subtropical seas throughout the Indo-Pacific region, the Red Sea and Zanzibar to Hawaii, and Japan to Australia. Comb stars spend much of their time buried in the silty seabed, where they feed on detritus, bivalve, and gastropod mollusks, swallowing them whole. It also ingests pebbles, digesting the biofilm and other small invertebrates clinging to the surfaces. The comb star contains a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, at present, it has no antidote. Its neurotoxin causes paralysis and also death from respiratory failure. Number three is the rough-skinned newt. The rough-skinned newt stands at spot number three. The rough-skinned newt is a North American newt particularly known for the potent toxin it ejects from its skin. It ranges from light brown to olive or brownish black on top, with its underside including the head, legs, and tail, a contrasting orange to yellow. Its skin is granular, but males tend to be smooth-skinned during the breeding season. Most newts produce toxins from their skin glands, all a defensive mechanism against predation. Still, toxins produced by the genus Taraka are potent. A rough-skinned newt produces a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin. It's the same toxin found in pufferfish and other marine animals. Number two is the striated surgeon fish. The striated surgeon fish is a species of marine fish which is one of the few toxic herbivore fish. The fish ingests microscopic dinoflagellates that accumulate in the body of the fish. As a result, the accumulation of the toxin creates the Segiraterra poison. When consumed by humans, this concentrated toxin causes severe neurological damage. Like most surgeon fish, the striated surgeon fish possesses scalpel-like spines, one or more on either side of its tail, which is used for defense and attack. Number one is the pufferfish. Taking the number one spot today is none other than the pufferfish. It's considered overly poisonous to the point a slight touch can cause severe damage to tissue. Because they're slow and have a clumsy swimming style, pufferfish defend themselves by ingesting large amounts of water. Doing so allows the pufferfish to grow larger than their usual size to defend against predators. When a predator captures a pufferfish before it bubbles up, it certainly spells doom for the predator. Most pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, which gives them a foul taste. To humans, this tetrodotoxin is deadly and is more than a thousand times more poisonous than cyanide. A single pufferfish contains many toxins that can kill 30 adult humans, and there's currently no antidote for it. These are my top 10 most poisonous animals on Earth. Do you know an animal you think should be on the list? If so, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section. Until then, stay safe.